so as i've showed you let me remove this component first this capacitor these two wires this is it from this negative terminal this terminal is is a negative terminal look at it it moves it jumps look at it to the negative terminal of the battery this is it this is the one that goes into the earpiece these two wires go to the earpiece this capacitor is actually serving for filtering purposes it doesn't allow pure current to come into this place so it only allow this wave of the sound to come in as it is vibrating here these two legs too will be vibrating that is this third leg this second leg this third leg and this second leg as they vibrate they also push in that vibration the vibration here will be higher since this one is sensitive to negative current as it is giving in negative current and going on and off the this one will be connecting and disconnecting and be pumping in more current to the speaker here the same thing look at it this is our positive terminal here it goes in this resistor goes to the gate of our first transistor to turn it on so that it will initiate the processes if this transistor has problem our entire system will stop working so this is for the npn transistor and this transistor from the number you are seeing here this is c2073 that is 2073 this is an npn transistor uh, a940 this is pmp so look at it npn pmp so this one this first leg is positive if you supply positive this two terminal will join this one if you supply negative through the process of the initiation as you the current zigzag current coming is connecting this negative terminal to this one once this negative terminal is connected to this one automatically know that this one will be on as it disconnect this one will go off again so that constant connection and disconnection we instigate current into the coil of the transform into the coil of the speaker and then the coil will begin to fight with the uh, magnet inside then it will be pushing this cone you are seeing then you'll be hearing the sound output this is the same thing here we have in this case i'm using the same transistor this one and this one 2073 2073 which is the npn i didn't switch i didn't mix them up so you can mix two transistors or you can put the same value of transistor this put at npn look at it this one is here this resistor this resistor is small somewhere here i forget before i skip this resistor here is 200k so you can use a resistor that is has very high distance because you don't need to open this place too high if you open it too much you end up not getting sound so you open it very small so that the small amount of current that is will be shaking this one then you get more higher output here then for this one we now have the two transistors here this the resistor is connected in between this first first leg and second leg which is exactly what you are seeing here then this is our speaker here our speaker look at it this negative terminal this is a ne this is the positive of the battery it goes to the middle leg which is this middle leg this middle leg and then it's out here so the once current enters this first this is our auxiliary cable this is a capacitor which is this small one you're seeing look at it here once the zigzag current enter here is constantly switching these two lines connecting these two terminals that is this positive terminal and this one this one is the gate of this one this is the gate this first leg are gate so since this first leg are gate as you put positive here this one is sliding this positive to this one a higher value of positive will be here then a higher value of positive enters here then this one and this one will connect at a higher level then you have more output here so a small zigzag here will bring in a bigger zigzag here bigger zigzag here at the speaker just as i explained the other one the only difference here is the difference in the there is a mix in one you didn't use the same value of transistor why this one we are using the same value of transistor you can get the same common output but what i notice is this one has better output than this one in terms of loudness this one that is this one that you are mixing two different transistors we are using 3.7 by volt battery which is a phone battery look at it here so i think i've explained so much so thank you very much with time i will be breaking down some things look at the circuitry here for you to see can clearly see it the positive enters here it puts on as it enters here this one is imaginary 
connected to this one not fully on then as the connection establish it pumps in positive here again too the positive enters and then these are the two speaker wires this one and this one so as this positive enters here it connects this one the more so it continues to establish link between this one and this one between these two then you hear higher as you, as a small uh, zigzag current enters here the higher zigzag current enters come out here to front the speaker let's continue with the music as place earlier you see i'm increasing the volume from the phone you can clearly see how the speaker is setting you see 